Hey guys, uh, we're gonna have a few changes happening to uh, my streaming career. Firstly, I want to quell the the fear that like, hey Liam, are you leaving Twitch? Like, no, I'm, I won't be leaving Twitch, at least not in this juncture. Uh, I'm actually gonna be streaming on both platforms. So I'm gonna be dual streaming at Twitch and at YouTube at the same time. There's a couple of reasons. Um, I'm not a, let's start off with like, I'm not a big fan of what Twitch has been doing lately. They seem to be uh, really caring about like monetizing everything and less about the creators. So um, let's start with my first reason, first big reason, and it's uh, discoverability. So as we know, Twitch isn't the greatest platform for discoverability unless you already have a lot of viewers because it's Twitch is very top heavy. So like if you go to a game that someone's playing that you might want to see someone play, whether it be like Overwatch or, or Fortnite or whatever, um, at the top is going to be the people with the most viewers. And that can kind of suck for anyone that's between one to, to 20 viewers um, because we have to kind of like feed off the scraps of the viewers that are sick of watching people that have like a thousand viewers or whatever. Um, and I'm not a super big fan of that. Now, YouTube isn't exactly the greatest for discoverability as well. At least their like YouTube live section is pretty, uh, meh, pretty meh. Um, but what I will say is because I'm constantly creating content, whether it be like YouTube videos or YouTube shorts, if people come across those videos because they're VODs and people can stumble across them at any point in time, uh, if they're watching them and they see that I'm live, there'll be a little like ring that tells them that I'm live at that time uh, by some miracle. <laughs> uh, they can click on that and then watch me live. So um, I think that's at least a little bit better, but either way, I'll be streaming on two platforms, which will kind of give me two opportunities for people to come across my stream. So that's number one. Number two is a pretty big one, which is ads. I fucking hate ads with my whole heart. It, as a streamer and as a viewer. As a streamer, it annoys me because number one, I get like no money from ads anyway. And number two is like, they play indiscriminately on Twitch. I can't really control, I can control when they happen. I can't control how many happen, uh, how long or whatever. It's like, you get three minutes of ads every hour. You, you don't get to choose. So I'm just letting you guys know, on my YouTube live, I will be having no ads ever and i'm saying that with my chest like i do not see me putting putting ads on my youtube live even if i get big and then like we might have a little discussion on whether like i need to put ads on my channel but that's very far down the road and i'm absolutely not going to be doing it anytime soon so there will be absolutely no ads on my youtube live so if you're sick of ads you're more than welcome to watch me on youtube next one is uh quality so this one's a bit of a small one. It's not that really big of a deal because my quality on Twitch is okay. Um, but this is a little kind of nitpicky stuff. So on uh, YouTube, they can actually take a, a thousand megabits per second and Twitch's highest is 6,000. So there's an extra 2,000 in there. Um, and, but the other thing is you always get encoding options on your YouTube live. So if someone wants to watch me, um, at 160p. Um, if you want to watch me at a lower res because your internet's not doing that well, you can all the time on YouTube. With Twitch, it's kind of hit and miss. Um, it's, it's, it's if they have server room for you. They go like this, they go like, they give uh, encoding options to partners, then affiliates, and then obviously anyone who streams. But as an affiliate, you only like sometimes get the encoding options. So that can get, kind of be a bummer for the viewer experience as well, is especially if they're coming from a place of like a poor internet or like low internet or yeah, yeah, just bad. Um, but yeah, that's kind of like the main reasons why I'm switching over. Uh, I'm sure you guys have a few questions. One's probably about the subs, what is, what's happening with subs or memberships, or whatever. Uh, on YouTube, I don't have memberships right now. I don't, I don't have a big enough channel for it. Um, so you can still support me, uh, subbing to me on Twitch. Uh, we'll be keeping that going for a while. Uh, if there is a time when I can get YouTube memberships, I'll probably move that over onto there mainly just because, uh, for two reasons. Number one, I can kind of set my own prices, uh, YouTube memberships. I can have as low as like a couple of dollars, two, three dollars. I can have a, you know, I can, I can make tiers 
basically. So I can have a little penny pincher tier, I can have like a normal sub tier, and I can have elite tier or whatever. Um, also, I get like a 70-30 split on that as well. So like, I could have you guys spending less money, let's say this $3.50, $4 for a sub, and I'm gonna get the same rate of you know, if you spent like six, seven dollars on a sub you know, on Twitch, um, because they have a 50-50 split while YouTube has a 70-30. But I really care about monetization. It's not that big a deal to me, like right now. Uh, one of the other things you're probably wondering about is like chat. Like, how's chat gonna work? Um, I will see everyone's chat. I use Restream, uh, so I hopefully should be able to see all the chats at the same time. If you see me talking to someone, and you're like, I don't see that person. Either they're in the other chat, or I've completely made them up. You know, someone in YouTube chat. Oh, Liam, you have such beautifully non-greasy hair today. I'm like, oh, you're so nice. Thank you, guy in YouTube uh, chat. With that as well, uh, if you guys want to support me, you can just stick to one platform as well. Don't be, you don't need to like be double tabbing uh, YouTube and Twitch at the same time to see what's going on. Uh, it's it, Just pick one, it's fine. I don't want to make the viewer experience any more uh, difficult than it has to be. So if you if you like you, viewing me on Twitch or like viewing on Twitch, stay with Twitch. If you want to uh, view me on YouTube, view me on YouTube, like that's fine. You don't, I appreciate any support, but um, you don't really need to go to like too crazy with it. Now, uh, will I be live streaming to any other platforms? The first thing that comes to mind is Kick, obviously. Um, it's new on the new on the block, and it's like there, there's opportunity for discoverability on Kick as well. Um, but at this point in time, I don't really want to stream on Kick, and there's a couple of reasons why. One of the big reasons is like I personally don't have an issue with gambling, but um, as long as you're over the age of 18, if you want to piss your money away in the pokies, go for it. If you want to gamble on the relay table, we'll go for it. You're, you're a grown adult, you can do what you want. I don't have a problem with that. Um, my problem with the kick platform is there isn't great moderation and there's a lot of people gambling to kids and it's, I don't feel good about it at all. You know what I mean? I don't want people under the age of 18, like getting addicted to gambling and spending their mom's credit card bill on but like silly Sailor Man, Pokies things, you know what I mean? Like, I probably won't be streaming on Kick anytime soon unless I like to change my mind about it or they, they kind of like change their moderation settings and stuff like that. Also, TikTok. Uh, I would love to be streaming, be able to stream on TikTok, um, but unfortunately, I don't have enough uh, followers to stream on TikTok. So, uh, follow me on TikTok. Links below. Uh, this is going to be a bit of a change for the next couple of months. We'll see how we go. Uh, I, I'm sorry, but there, there's probably going to be some issues. I, th I think I've sorted most of them out, but like with change comes, there's going to be problems. Be honest with me. Let me know if there's any issues and I'll try to solve them out as quickly as possible. Um, and having said that, I want to thank everyone for supporting me on YouTube or Twitch or TikTok or wherever. Um, I really appreciate everyone that's been there all this time. Um, I'm trying to make things better. That's why I want to expand a little bit, change it up, uh, change it up. And yeah, so you guys can catch me at twitch.tv forward slash Liam Nantes and youtube.com forward slash at Liam Nantes. Uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in a couple of hours. I will be streaming. Uh, let me know what you think and I'll see you next time. I didn't want to destroy the fucking rocks. Oh, fuck. I'm just better! <laughs>